Ladies, this is my bouffant day. My bouffant Friday. <laughs> With the bright lipstick and the glitter. I'm going to tell you why. Where I am, we've had fires. 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 We've had um, smoke. And I've said for the last so many months that I refuse to wear a mask and only have worn a mask in the dental office. I'm starting new topics. I am going to get very, very transparent, sublime with you. So, and I'm under a parking garage at the moment. So it seems like my face is kind of doing some delivery. My face looks extremely pale. So I apologize. The lighting is really crazy. It doesn't really matter how I look. But this is my bouffant. And the reason why I'm saying this, this life right now has been a bouffant. A undercover, supposed to be beautiful, you know, puffy, like a cotton candy, puffy glow. But the world is twisted and turning and docile into turmoil. And that's, that's a sentence for you, etymology sentence. My other channel and this channel will go coincide, but I'm coming to you on this topic of womanhood, mature seasoned womanhood. I made a video months and months back, everyone. Oh, dear ladies, and I know some gents see this video regarding ladies not hitting the wall. I want to tell you right now, the world is a narcissistic bipolar mess. The weather, whether it be judgment from the most high, whether it be arsonists, rioters starting arson, uh, starting fires and things, the smoke, the amount of smoke I've inhaled, I've had to wear a mask. The position at the moment, because of everything that has happened, I've lost a lot. And the time is now for changes. I have everything on my face and I'm making this up in this bouffant. The reason why I'm saying this is from a distance, hmm, up close, like, okay, maybe, you know, maybe I need to whiten my teeth. Maybe, you know, um, I did my hair, but maybe there's some the white and gray in there. But from a distance, it's okay. I purposely am doing this for you ladies because not being able to wear lip gloss or lipstick, it's an amazing thing that the world has completely turned upside down in this new world order, this beast, this system, this craziness. To wear a mask, for instance, and ladies, I hope it's just ladies at this time watching, feminine ladies. In the restroom, it is very unclean and unhygienically, politically correct to not be able to take off the mask and wash your face, your hands. Just after you've eaten, I like to wash my mouth, you know, from an office or if I'm in a meeting. Whether it be ministry, whether it be cooking, whatever it is that I'm doing, if I'm sharing that and I'm not able to wash my mouth, like just now, I'm even saying, if I had some snacks, right? Okay, so this is my, I don't normally do this, but this is this is my Cheeto fest for the moment. Because uh, where I've been in this project for the week, they had snacks, right? And I haven't eaten a lot of seeds and nuts. Nuts, last week was a lot of lentils and beans and soups and rices and pilafs and uh, quinoa and everything and spinach and eggs, you name it. So this week, the snacks. So I was like, okay, so I'm just trying to brush things up. But let me explain. Just like that Cheeto pack, just like not being able to wash your mouth where you're at, just like having to wear the mask, the mask takes in all of your makeup. So any makeup you have, that's why my face looks two-toned right now and kind of strange. Makeup here, not makeup here. And I don't wear tons of face makeup, but just the color, something on my eyes to make me feel good because not only my skin needing to feel good constantly and, and dealing with my nails. Again, my nails were really long and I've had to cut them off a little bit. 
um, to just regrow them, but your skin, right? Your hair, your follicles, everything going on inside of your new growth. If you've trimmed your hair, your teeth, keeping your, your, um, enamel together, keeping your, your hair follicles, your coils together, right? This mask takes off the makeup. So being a feminine woman, being in a woman. So you see these women with these masks wearing their makeup, but their mask has tons of makeup on it. Even in the office I was in, it has tons of makeup. The depression that can happen, the spirit of depression, the pr depression that can happen, the, de the anxiety, the PSTD, the uh, OCD, all these labels people put on, on one another, the narcissistic, the cussing, the um, spirits that are going in this traffic when you drive. Everything that's taking place in 2020 is an eye-opener, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Needing more water. So all your eyes are open. You're completely awakened to everything. And yet you're having to cover yourself because you are trying to get your finances. In my case, much that I've lost and, and accounts that I've lost. And, and even in the ministry, even with my personal gift basket, even with my Shackley business, um, with the vitamins and the children's products that no one is really looking at right now because my, my market line, my uh, advertising, my getting out and speaking to people has changed because I was not wearing a mask. Now, with the mask, again, let's go back to the mask. Ladies, as a feminine lady needing to nurture yourself in the morning, nurture yourself in the evening, have time to read, have time to either you're exercising, dance, stretching, researching, all these things that you're doing. Time speeding up. And you're wearing this mask and you're not able to breathe the way you should be breathing. You're not looking at the trees and we have fire in three states. So because we had fire in three states, we are dealing with mass air problems. So the lungs, and I will tell you, you will know who cares for you in these last days, in these days, these times, these trials, you will know who cares for you. There will be those who will skirt and scurry about and come into your life. And you think that is someone who is genuine and loving. And then you find out they have a narcissistic behavior or they have an anger issue. And maybe they're talking behind your back when you're off the phone. But yet you've been talking and you've been teaching. You've been um, not preaching. You've been fortifying their body, their soul, right? Through talking to their to the spirit within them right meaning you're hoping that you connect to this stranger who you don't want to be a stranger and the whole time they're playing games this can happen in family this can happen in the workplace the prayer that i do the praying let me tell you guys and i know there may be others of different religions and, and atheists and so forth on this channel what i'm saying it's not about the religion what i'm telling you this is something happening no matter what's happening for me, I serve the Most High, so I do believe in Yahusha, I believe in Christ, but this is mostly for feminine women for this channel, and I've had not no views hardly on any of my videos, but things are going to change. It is time for me to step up and um, go into a different elevated level in life, not leveling up. I'm not talking that term. I'm talking about the maturity, the maturity, the seasoning, the well-established of being a woman my character, my identity, my reasons for existing in this anxiety, this life is to be peaceable, to show love, to be transparent, to be loving, to be kind, to be gentle, yet bold and firm with where I'm going. And so this brings me back to those you meet in every place. Be so wise and careful ladies as a Proverbs 31 woman, be careful because I'm going to tell you as a healthy woman, the one thing the mask takes away is your health. The health on the social level, the health on the surface, the health when you meet someone. So it's hard to meet and greet and speak right now. Now I'm adjusting. I did not wear a mask for a very long time. In fact, only four times in the last, since this year started. So things are a little different now. And that's so that I can go into a home office to not 
deal with fires outside, which we did receive rain. Oh, thank you. We received some rain. That helped take the ash out of the the, the falling down um, of the air supply because it was making our skin itch and everything. But getting into not having and being able to network and market and, and, and everything like that, not have to wear this mask because I will tell you, it changes your life. I don't have those addictions, okay? Some people in their 20s, 30s, 40s that go through these addictions, when you don't have those addictions, you no longer serve your flesh that way. You're really looking for your spirit to be healthy and to be genuine and to and, and to, to feel peace of mind and, and have your solitude and your serenity. And I'm sorry about the background noise of um, cars and motorcycles in here. And you ask for this maintaining of truth in your life, that your lifestyle is complete. And then what happens is that you end up in a situation where you're in a social environment, a public networking situation. Sorry about the background noise again. And you are dealing with all these behaviors of crazy. And you're hoping, you're just hoping that it doesn't stay that way, that it does not attach to you because you don't want it to attach to your vessel, to your spirit, to where you're not feminine anymore. You're dealing with masculine, masculine ladies, cussing in the office, cursing, swearing, you know. So um, it's at the point, I'm just telling you, just be really careful this toward this end of the, the year of this 2020, be careful. Keep your mind, your peace about you. Keep your serenity about you. Keep your joy about you. Keep what's inside about you. Maintain that inner peace. When someone cuts you off, when somebody cuts you off in traffic, when someone is talking abusive, stop, focus, get grounded. Okay, I, I understand, I see. Give me a minute. And you go, you separate, you completely separate quickly. Separate. Separate so you're not in that situation. Separate. And then on top of that, be grounded in your decisions in fall. Be grounded in your decisions. The relationship books I'm going to start writing, this is relationships about just life. Not so much just romantic where you're courting or, or dating or... um meeting someone, what I'm saying is in every facet of your life, the vitamins, the herbs, the, the minerals, the, the plant life that you eat is what's going to sustain you. Drinking seltzer water, drinking mineral water, drinking alkaline water, getting your rest, taking care of your eyes with cucumber. I put tea bags under my eyes, so that helps. So this is like an update, 2020 update. Ladies, feminine, healthy ladies, Get with your program, get with your plan, get with your distinguishing of, of what's going on with people's spirits. Get yourself under control, get your finances under control and, and keep going and going because when you're in your own house and you're able to just relax and rest, excuse the background noise of an alarm going off, you won't have to deal with these psychotic, sociopathic, just turmoil, turmoil inside their bodies that they're traumatizing you with you have your mind about yourself so i'm going to go ahead and cut this video short i will continue again starting next week on monday and there'll be a series of um videos on my where to where i'm going because i need to i need things to change and switch it's my time to change it's my time to to do new things so it's a new situation feminine ladies on your eyes just oh we have to deal with this skin <laughs> and please don't be discouraged to not be encouraged find the find the ones that are encouraging to your support system find your circle of lifestyle life people that bring that that breathe life into you breathe life into your soul and breathe life into your spirit not take from it, not bring you anguish. And when you have problems, write these things down, 
we're going to discuss some different areas of relationships. We're going to discuss some women, um, pre, um, menstrual, pre, um, menopausal type post, post menopausal type situations, children. We're going to talk about some different things as single parenting and talk about teenagers. We're going to talk about a few different areas, talk about men. We are going to discuss men. Yeah, we're going to discuss men. A few topics I want. I wrinkle my nose because it's uh it's out of control. We don't want to be that group of type of women that accept this, nor encourage it, nor promote it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye, ladies. Sorry, I keep talk looking, I'm trying to talk to you, but it looks like I'm looking at myself and I'm looking at the camera. I'm trying to talk to you all. So <clears throat> my bouffant, it's falling down. I really hope you have the best weekend. This is your Friday night. I have my Sabbath tomorrow. Listen, Friday night, get in your journals. Get in your business ideas. Uh, get the business ideas out of your head and write them down on paper. To you business ladies, let me tell you, your health is key to everything right now. Your health, your inside, your health. With that being said, I'm going to cut the video. Talk to you soon. Hope you have a great weekend. Take care, ladies, really. Take care of your soul, spirit. Take care of your inside. Take care of your inner self before anyone else can. I'll be talking soon. Bye.